All right guys, so today we're talking about the fastest way for you to learn Webflow and become a master Webflow designer and sell your sites for thousands of dollars. We're gonna be talking about all the misconceptions and also the shortcuts that you can take to get there faster. First, I want to talk about one of the biggest misconceptions that comes with Webflow. And this is something that I heard a lot of times before I finally made the jump and started designing with Webflow. And that is this idea that you need some sort of pre like knowledge of CSS or HTML or any of this coding stuff. And, and that's just not true. Okay. If you don't have any knowledge of that or any experience, don't even worry about it because in my opinion, the best way for you to learn those things and understand how they um, change the way a website looks or interacts, um, just dive into Webflow. As you click around and you uh, make adjustments and, and you're designing websites, you're going to learn those things along the way. So if that's your big holdup in starting to design with Webflow, just stop worrying about it and dive in and get started. Now, the first thing that I wanna talk about today is Definitely my favorite way to kind of self teach um, Webflow and how to build awesome websites. And that is reverse engineering. You've probably heard of it before. It's, it's not a new term. One thing I love about Webflow is they've got an endless amount of templates. And then they've also got something called the Webflow showcase that has clonable websites. Okay. So what you can do is you can search through all these templates and websites and find sites that look awesome or have cool interaction. You can actually clone those and then pull them into your designer and then you can manipulate them. And so you can actually get right in there and see how things were set up, how they were built, how the interactions were made um, and just kind of go backwards through this process. The thing that I love most about this is once you reverse engineer a, a specific section or element and see exactly how it works, you won't forget it. Um, and so as you go, you're constantly just learning these new things and kind of adding them to your arsenal. So down the road, when you have a client that needs something specific or wants a, a very custom interaction, it's easy for you to just kind of pull that out and say, I've, you know, I've reverse engineered that. I know exactly how it works. I know how to build it out step by step. Um, and that's going to save you so much time rather than waiting until that time comes and trying to fiddle with things and make them work the way that you want them to because that can be frustrating and just super time consuming. So I would say if you're new to Webflow, just jump into the showcase. It's completely free to clone a couple of these sites and see how they work. The next thing that is so awesome about Webflow is they have the most incredible library of video tutorials. Now these things are not only super helpful, they're brief, they're to the point, um, they're super descriptive, but the things are also super funny. So it's really engaging. It's easy for you to sit down and watch a handful of them. Um, and that's actually something that me, even after building tons and tons of sites on Webflow, I still set aside time almost every day to get in and watch a couple of these tutorials because I, every day I either learn something new or I'm reminded of something that I forgot and I'm continually honing my skills, which um, as web designers and especially in Webflow, we're constantly learning new things. You never get to the point where you arrive. Um, and so if you are waiting to take on clients or start charging people until that point where you feel like you've arrived as a web designer, um, just don't do it, man. You can, I mean, you can pick up Webflow day one and a week later you can take on your first client. And while that site may take you longer, you can still build something that looks awesome and you're gonna learn along the way. Something that really helped me in my first couple months as I was learning Webflow was having um, something called a personal project. Now a personal project, there's really no um, set parameters on that or, or what it can or can't be. Um, it really just has to be a project that you enjoy and that you take pride in, okay? So whether you wanna build a website um, to advertise your design skills or whether you want to recreate a website that you just really like or you want to make a website for a friend or a family member whatever this personal project is to you that will make it so whenever you have free time you're excited to sit down open up webflow and just work on it okay now that being said um, one thing that i think you should keep in mind is set some pretty high expectations on this site make sure that um, you have a vision of of how you want it to be but also that 
you know is kind of beyond your skill set at the time because that's going to push you to learn new things and implement new um, strategies and, and features and all these different things. And as you do that, you're going to find that you're extra motivated to learn new things and implement the things that you learn from the tutorials and from your reverse engineering. Um, and it's at the end going to be something that you can take a lot of pride in and even use in your showcase. So thanks so much for watching my video guys. If you liked it or even learned one single thing from it, please share with a friend, uh, make sure to like the video and also subscribe to my channel. I have a lot of awesome stuff coming out here over the next couple weeks more on Webflow, how to make more money as a web designer, how to up your prices, land new clients. We're going to talk about it all and I don't want you to miss any of it.